I'm gonna show you real that even the locals don't know. I've never been to Rio de Janeiro before and I have absolutely no idea what to do once we arrive. So I actually ended up putting a poll on Instagram asking some of you if you had any recommendations. A couple of people kept mentioning an account called Rio for Fun. So I ended up looking them up and it turns out they're a really fun looking travel couple that's based in Rio de Janeiro. So we connected and I'm about to give them a call. Hey, Betsy, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? Good, good, good morning. So, we are coming to Rio pretty spontaneously. I've never been there before, and I just have no idea what to do, so it would be amazing to get your help. Don't worry, I got you. No worries. I will take care of everything. Just let me know when your plan lands, and I will pick you up. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, that's Lionel, longtime editor, first time travel partner. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. I've never really been one to film inside of an airplane bathroom, but I gotta say, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in here. <laughs> It is official. I just touched down in Brazil. How are you? Good. Welcome to Rio. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Rio. Be prepared to, you know, we're gonna do like lots of stuff like for the next 100 hours, right? Yeah, yeah so exactly. We're exactly. excited to show our city. Nothing better than being like with a local who knows what they're doing and feeling so taken care of. I love this. Yeah, we we don't like to do like regular stuff, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna show you real that even the locals don't know. They'll be like, oh, you took a side trip, where is it? No, it's only 30 minutes away from home, wow. you know. I love that. So that's our expertise. Crazy seeing something that's yeah. been like a postcard that I've seen forever yeah, <laughs> actually be in front of us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The confidence of this man with this machete is so impressive. All right, Ooh. first sip of fresh coconut. <laughs> I'm excited. South America. <laughs> welcome to Rio, welcome oh. to Brazil, welcome to South America. Yes. That's how we welcome our friends Aww. when they just arrive in Rio. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Wandering around the neighborhood of Santa Teresa, we wandered into a samba rehearsal with all of this different street food being cooked around and looking above us we saw this old uh, 19th century ruins of a home from a woman who was a part of an elite family and wow I just love the way that they were able to renovate these old ruins in a way that feels new and modern and also so artistic. We've officially only been in Brazil for 12 hours yet and it has already been such a whirlwind adventure. I feel like I've already seen so many different parts of Rio de Janeiro. I've tasted some street food and just had the most delicious traditional Brazilian dinner and wow. If this is the pace that we're at, I cannot wait to see what we do tomorrow. Waking up, I could not think of a better way to start the day than on Brazil's most famous beach, 
Copacabana Beach. I've heard about this beach for years and I can confirm it is just as vibrant as I could have ever imagined. I've been finding myself more and more drawn towards these certain types of beach cities. These cities like Venice Beach in California, Barceloneta in Barcelona, and Muscle Beach in Miami. They have this energy about it that just, it, it like inspires people to spend more time in the sun, be so relaxed. I see so many people smiling, nobody's on their phones, everyone's so active and tan, and there's so many beautiful people everywhere. This is so much harder than it looks. I'm already sweating so much. Woo. Wow, so fun. For the rest of the day, we've got some uh, some surprises in store, so let's get started. <laughs> We have just driven out into the outskirts of Rio. What are we doing out here? <laughs> uh, we're gonna ride horse through the largest urban rainforest in the world, which is, we're locating the Whitestone State Park. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when we arrive here, they think we are not in Rio. They're like, oh, we're in the countryside. Yes. But it's actually part of Rio. Yes. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. I haven't ridden horses in so long. Yeah. But we're about to go into the jungle. I'm glad to have <laughs> you guys here and uh, let's go. Yeah. My horse's name is Flacco, which means flakes. <laughs> oh, how are you enjoying your first? Oh, it's rough. <laughs> it's oh, rough. It's rough. <laughs> <laughs> We just rode horses through the middle of the jungle and I cannot believe, number one, how well trained these horses are. It was Lionel's first time ever being on a horse and I think he did great. First time on a horse and Lexi makes me <laughs> use my hand, one hand. I'm not prepared for this. Hey, it's in the job description. <laughs> so we just arrived to this small rural community for lunch in the middle of our horseback riding tour. And I'm gonna go check out the kitchen and see what they're cooking up. <laughs> it's starting to slow down, but this meal was so good. The best thing was definitely the pork with cassava. Yes. It's like the different spices that she mm -hmm. put in the sauce were oh, perfect. I love that there's always meat in the beans <laughs> hiding in there. And then the star, the show, star of the show is that fruta pao. Fruta pao. <laughs> this is perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Portuguese you say saúde. 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 Mm -hmm. Such a good, a good boy. <laughs> wow, that was such an amazing adventure. Oh. <laughs> that was such an amazing adventure. We saw some really beautiful parts of the jungle. I just can't believe that we're still technically in the city of Rio. <sighs> Another one for the books. <laughs> to climb this mountain, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, LATAM Airlines. LATAM Airlines is the largest airline in South America, connecting over 140 destinations across the continent. I already had the opportunity to travel with LATAM to Peru, Chile, and Colombia. They are truly experts in flights all over South America. 
I actually traveled here to Brazil with Latam Airlines to experience the rich culture and stunning landscapes of Rio de Janeiro for the first time and this has already been the trip of a lifetime. And let me tell you, their non-stop flights and comfort options are amazing. I traveled on their direct flight from Miami to Sao Paulo in the business class cabin and domestically to Rio de Janeiro in premium economy. And I gotta say, these were some of the most comfortable flights I've ever had. It's no wonder they've won the best airline in South America award three years in a row with quality onboard service and in-flight entertainment. So. Thank you, Latam, for opening the door to these incredible experiences in Brazil. Book your next trip with Latam Airlines through the link in my description. And now, let's go climb this mountain. It is nearly four o'clock in the morning, and I was just informed we're about to hop on the back of motorbikes to head through a favela on our way to the trailhead. Oh boy. <laughs> when you reach the top, you guys are gonna understand why How? you drag our butts out of bed this <laughs> Mom. There better be a good explanation ah. for this. This better be the best sunrise I've ever seen in my life. Surviving? <laughs> Barely. You see, I'm dripping in sweat right now. I'm so tired. But it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> that's, all, that's all we've been told. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> oh, look at these views already. That right there is the Christ the Redeemer statue. And this is one of the largest favelas all of Brazil. We just made it to the top. Oh my gosh. Let alone when I'm all of this. Wow. Are you ready? I'm getting ready. I mean, I'm pretty pumped with this. You know, I'd do about anything right now. <laughs> but wow, this is just crazy. This is one of the most like unique experiences that you could have in Rio. And we're in good hands. Hello guys, how are you? Definitely a little bit scary, popping over the edge, but at the beginning, but once you get get going, just take all of the time you want, enjoy the views. Wow, that was insane. All of that, and it's not even, like what? It's 6.30. It's 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Crazy the things you can do when you wake up at three. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the the experience yeah uh, just like yeah see it's amazing place to to hang out 
to see the sunrise and yeah. try oh to my experience gosh. the Nepal. Thank you. Did you record it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so shy. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for trusting my job as well, mm. uh, for coming here. And I just thank you for everything. Uh, Mission accomplished. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I want you guys to have fun. And it's so cool to eat like what we just catch. Fresh. Let's do it. Yeah. Casually fishing off of the coast of Brazil. Not a terrible office. No, not at all. Oh, people, you got it. Oh. Lexi, you got it. Oh, he's strong. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Look at that. We got I it. I got it, I got it. You going to? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Oh. Let's go. You got him. Wow. Olha o grandão. How about you, baby? Yeah. <laughs> well, we got lunch. <laughs> Now we arrived at this rugged island where we hopped off to swim in the crystal clear waters and also start cooking up some of the fresh fish that we had just caught. It just so happens that our boat captain is also a professional chef. So he brought everything with him to cook us up some lobster, all of the fish that we just caught and some vegetables, seasonings, sauces to go with it as well, right here in the middle of nowhere. He took this fish, put some, cooked it up, put some uh, olive oil, lime, soy sauce, soy sauce, pepper, and fresh, fresh pepper. Yeah. Is Cheers. Mm. Can get fresher than this. Mm. No. <laughs> Best tip: Limon. bring a chef fishing with you always. got the ceviche, the very important cilantro, just fr as fish is, like you, like you saw, straight out of the ocean. Got some fresh onions and what, a little bit of soy sauce? Yes. Oh my gosh. It might be the best ceviche I've ever had. Last but not least, dessert. We've got roasted banana and filled with none other than Hershey's chocolate. So good. Thank you. Mm. Well, I guess we found the best restaurant in, uh, in Rio. <laughs> <laughs> going to get a real taste of Rio's culture through a samba concert. Get in touch with these samba roots here and behind this little conspicuous blue door I can already hear the music thumping out onto the street and we're gonna have to go see what's inside.
<laughs> I just make a simple phone call and boom. Oh, God, paragliding was all sold oh, out yeah, for the lighting. entire five days yeah. we were there. It was crazy. I mean, the, the only thing you have to choose is like, oh, I don't know if I feel like uh, doing paragliding or hang gliding. Oh. Well, how about skydiving over the helicopter? Strap, strap a GoPro <laughs> to Lionel, throw him on there, Me? catch him at the beach. <laughs> Me? Me? <laughs> a good kitchen because when we were in there I saw three main ingredients garlic rock salt and olive oil that's really all you need for the perfect steak and the perfect meats it's really that simple it looks amazing there's like a perfectly rolled piece of fat with it that was the best the best that was the best one amazing I don't know if I've ever had such a flavor, flavorful mm. piece of meat before. Mm. Oh my god. I'm like not even kidding, that's insane. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to, how to best describe this, but I actually can't because it's that good. <laughs> Finally, you have to try this. <laughs> so you gotta cry. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had like meat this good. I'm like, like not <laughs> exaggerating. So serious. Uh, can you tell me a bit about what is even happening here? Why yes. is this? Why is this so good? Well, What's we it? are in a Brazilian steakhouse, but it's a 100% carioca steakhouse, which is originally from Rio. The prime cuts from different regions of Brazil and also. Uh, from Argentina. What I also love about this place is that decoration that is about Bossa Nova, which is the new samba of Rio. Uh, there's a big painting right when you walk in with all the musicians from the Bossa Nova. 100% Rio's Steakhouse. Oh, so good. Well, cheers. Cheers. I can't think of a better way to spend our last night. Yes. <laughs> Saudade? Saúde. Saúde. Yeah, saudade is also another uh, really cool word, Portuguese, Portuguese, Portuguese word. word. Yes. That means there's no like a specific meaning, but it's when you're missing someone or you're missing something. Yeah. But I'm already having saudade oh. of you guys. <laughs> no. I'm already missing you guys. And I look oh. forward to have you guys here again in Rio. I'm already planning my next Cheers. trip. Cheers. Don't, don't, don't get too comfortable without me. Já com saudade deles e, cara, escreve aqui nos comentários do vídeo dela. Estou com saudade. Ou saudade. What he said. Yes. <laughs> See you guys again. Uh, the past 100 hours have felt like two weeks. Two weeks, I know. <laughs> That's our style. We've done so much stuff with In you the guys. We, we came as strangers and now we're leaving as friends. Exactly, and exactly. I, I already want to start planning our next adventures together. Oh. I'm now I'm now a part of the Yes, thank part you. Of the thank group. you so much for Aww. coming. Yes. And we're so glad Brazil loves you and yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What do you mean? Say, Valeu Brazil. Valeu Brazil. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My heart is full but broken. The last time we stepped on a plane, I had absolutely no idea where our trip to Brazil would take us. With the help of the Limitless Army, who made the perfect connection with our new friends, we had one of the best trips I could have ever imagined. 
Thanks again to the sponsor of this video, Latam Airlines, who always reminds me that a once-in-a-lifetime experience in South America is only a flight away. Don't forget to subscribe because our adventure in South America continues next week. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to get more weekly travel content, everything from bucket list destinations to travel hacks, you should sign up for my newsletter at LexiLimitless.com slash newsletter. Again, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, let's push our limits.